Hello, welcome back once again to our English online classroom. It's me, Arun, with the same chapter, the best Christmas present in the world. And now you may be thinking, you may think that uh, again the same chapter. No, it will be the last class with this chapter, I'm sure. Anyway, somehow we have completed uh, the chapter very nicely. And I hope that you read the book well and you enjoyed the story. I think I, I trust that you enjoyed the story because the activities I received from you were really impressive. So I understood that you really understood that uh, chapter and you enjoyed the story of Connie and Jim and also the writer. So somehow we have uh, some activities to do with the chapter. And uh, uh, before that, let me tell you that I have asked you to do two activities and as many of them called me and as a lot of doubts about that actually what you have to do is first of all you want to write a letter I'm sorry you want to write a, a diary diary of our writer michael more per go i told you at the end of the story our writer met connie mcpherson and he was very happy with that experience so after that experience imagine that he is writing a diary so how what all the things will be there in his mind the experience of getting the letter experience of reading the letter and experience of meeting connie after long years so all the experiences you can include in your diary okay uh, and his feelings also so you can write this activity as in your notebook a diary activity in your notebook at the same time you want to make a poster also against war okay against war and support uh, peace so you can do this activity in an a4 sheet paper by drawing nice uh, border a lot of uh, by including pictures if it is a drawing or uh, you are uh, pasting or your uh, whatever you're doing doesn't matter make it attractive okay a poster against war so these are the two activities i have given you and we have a little bit more question answers in this chapter so everyone please take page number one six sixteen okay so let me read working with the text let me read the questions what you want to do is we will discuss the questions and answers also you have to read the chapter once again write all the questions i think seven questions write the seven question in your notebook and along with the answers okay so let's move to the first question page number 16 for how long do you think connie had kept jim's letter give a reason for your answer how long sure uh, many years you can write an answer because when the writer got when writer got the table the desk it was too much damaged with fire and water and its uh, leg was also broken or damaged second question why do you think the desk had been sold and when why it has been sold because it is got it got damaged the entire home got damaged in fire that is why when after that burning after that uh, uh, burning of the home they just sold it third one why do Jim and Hans think that games or sports are good ways of resolving conflicts do you agree so reason is very nicely written there I asked you to underline also there are some reasons why both of them support sports and not war reasons are there about uh, some widows uh, orphan such words do you remember read the text well and answer and do you agree of course as a person with having common sense and a nice heart will agree that is the best way and the fourth question is do you think the soldiers of the two armies are like each other or different from each other find evidence from the stories to support your answer so what do you think are they different or same i think they are same they have the same opinion in some things and they have the same taste and same interest same mentality so some examples are there in the textbook read the textbook nicely and you will get the answer and the fifth question is mention 
the various ways in which the british and german soldiers become friends and find things in common at christmas then you, when you reading the part from the story where both of them celebrated kiss christmas you will get the answer okay sixth question what is connie's christmas present why it is the best christmas present in the world what was the connie's christmas present the letter and our narrator am i right letter and the narrator narrator she misunderstood as her husband and the seventh one do you think the title of the story is suitable why this is the best uh, Uh, title for the story the best christmas present in the world why you have to write the answer by connecting the experience of connie macpherson at the end of the story okay so when you read the story you will be able to find the answer yourself so try to write the seven questions in your notebook along with the answers whenever you feel any doubts you can call me or contact me through whatsapp so in page number 17 there is page working with language okay working with language so can i ask you one thing you might have learned tenses in the previous classes as it is tenses in the previous classes and uh, the three tenses you might have learned present past and future present past and future i don't want to explain everything again because i'm sure that you know all the tenses very nicely because you have learned in the previous classes in grammar periods so let me take one tense from there it is called past past tense okay and past tense have more divisions we know simple past past continuous past perfect past perfect continuous live it live it live it live everything and let me take just one tense from it it is simple past simple past to show an action which is just completed to show a past action which is completed is we use a simple past tense for example i came here yesterday okay i came here yesterday it means that i went to the temple uh, today morning i went to temple today morning i ate uh, chapatis and chicken for the breakfast today morning so like this we know how to change the verb when it comes as past tense there are we use second form of the verb like uh, uh, come will become came go will become went then eat will become ate and work will become worked so like this we know how to use past verb forms am i right so that i know i'm sure that you already know this and if you take page number 17 there are some activities for you related to past tense okay related to past tense so dear children let us start page number 17 working with the language it means here have some grammar activities some activities related to grammar and i have told you about the past tense so here listen carefully look at these sentences from the story Here are a few sentences taken from the story. I spotted it in a junk shop in Bridport. The man said it was made in the early 19th century. This one was in a bad condition. Then here let's see. The italicized verbs are in the past tense. They tell us what happened in the past. Italicized words mean the words written in italics. He, I, spotted. See, junk shop in Bridport. The man said italics, and the early nineteenth century. This one was. So these words shows us and had thing which has happened in the past. Okay, before now. That is called actually this. type of sentence can be called or this type of verb can be called a simple past okay 
it will show us an activity or an action which just completed before the time of speaking okay just completed in the, uh, the at the time of speaking the those uh, verbs can be used in such a way spotted said or was something like that okay now you have an activity read the passage below and underline the verbs in the past tense like what we have done in the previous paragraph we want to underline the past verbs in this paragraph okay are you ready okay let's do it together a man got on the train got on is here a man got on the train the train and sat down actually we say sit down but here it is sat down the compartment was can also underline was empty except for one lady she took or not only took took her gloves off so it means took off took off a few hours later the police arrested the man they held him okay again held him for 24 hours and then freed him so clear a man got on the train and sat down the compartment was empty except one except for one lady she took her gloves off means to cough a few hours later the policeman arrested the man they held him for 24 hours and freed him so that's it then so i think it is clear and this thing is not such a great thing because we have learned already in previous classes but here comes a confusion now look at these sentences listen carefully now look at these sentences the veneer had lifted almost everywhere both fire and water had taken their toll on this desk so here is a difference this these sentences are not as same as before and what is the difference here another word came then he the veneer had lifted had lifted almost everywhere both fire and water had taken their toll so notice the verb forms had lifted had taken the toll the author found and bought the desk in the past isn't it but the desk was damaged before the author found it and bought it so fire and water had damaged the desk before the author found it and bought it so what did you understand from this so my dears listen carefully if we completed an action in the immediate past or which is completed just now we can say the sentence in such a manner isn't it means the second form of the verb like came went took said such things but here when an action which is completed before long time means which is taken place in long past we have to use one word had and third form of the verb v3 for example if it is damaged damage damaged damaged third one if it is take take took taken so the third form taken had taken so that is actually that is called a past perfect tense just leave it the names and all just leave it so this is the way we write immediate past okay this is the way we write immediate past if it is a, uh, an activity which is completed just before we can say it in this manner means v2 form like came went ate so took like that but if an action it which has completed before long time means this ha activity had happened before long time then we have to use one had and at the same time the v3 form of the verb okay if here it is i took but here it will come like i had 
taken means v3 v3 form of the verb so i hope it is clear for you see we use verb forms like had and damaged for an event in the earlier past okay so just to read these three points also okay just read these three points also and here you have an activity filling the blanks okay and let us do it together i will help you you have to do it yourself filling the blanks using the correct form of the verb in brackets my little sister is very naughty when she dash back come come will be what second form which is the second form came it will become came okay it will become came so my little sister is very naughty when she came back from the school yesterday she had dash her dress tear so what is the past form of tear you have to find we dash ask you have to find the past form of ask then happen then say here is a difference have quarrel have quarrel will become become had quarreled had quarreled and again here have beat then it will become had beaten had beaten like the same manner just read this paragraph page number 17 and 18 also and please complete that activity in the notebook not in the textbook but in the notebook okay and listen carefully in page number 18 and here is also a b c d four sentences are there and your duty is to find out simple past and earlier past so here v2 form here had plus v3 form you have to find it from these four sentences and to make a column and list out this is also an activity that you have to do so i hope it is clear for you so i hope it is clear past and immediate past so once again past tense verbs past form we already know v2 form we know v2 form we know so every verb has three forms that we know for example take ah huh, took then taken so v1 v2 v3 v3 isn't it so here we use v2 always took take but took fall but fell come but came so took fell came as a past form clear and in the earlier past i have told you earlier past means an action which which has taken place in long past before long years here we use uh, had and v2 sorry v3 had plus v3 earlier past had taken took will become had taken fell will become had fallen came will become had come this is the third form take to take on fall fell fallen came sorry come came come again this is a third form these are the third form plus had it is earlier past so if you are writing a sentence which has past forms you can write in this manner but the action has taken place in long past you have to write in this manner okay we have to do more and more activities connected to this uh, past form then only you will understand but uh, unfortunately you are there at your home and i'm here in the school so let us do it as soon as possible when you are here let us do it together now what you want to do is just uh, uh, the activities we have discussed in page number 17 that uh, you have to copy it in your notebook and write what you want to do is filling the blanks using the correct form of the verbs in brackets that activity you want to do it in your notebook and some underlined activities also we have done that also please copy in your notebook
okay so that's all dealing with the past and earlier past i hope it is clear then one more activity you have one more activity that is phrasal verbs that is phrasal verbs so phrasal verb i have told you phrasal verb. have you heard the word phrasal verb this question is useful as i'm sure because you have already learned phrasal verbs which are the phrasal verbs it is meanings and examples in your grammar periods in the previous classes but some of you may have still confusion what it is actually and where can we use it such questions will be there let us see anyway what is a phrasal verb and how to make phrasal verbs these are the things let's see here just see one sentence is here let us read together okay by the end of the journey we had run out of drinking water what's it by the end of the journey we had run out of drinking water so all the words are familiar by the end of the journey journey we know end we know we had you know run out of drinking water all the words are familiar so what is the meaning actually by the end of the journey it is clear when our journey was getting to an end we had we had run run we know running isn't it out outside of drinking water uh -huh. confusion run we know out we know but what is the connection between run out and drinking water still there is a confusion isn't it so here run and out we cannot separate it is together run out means finished or completed okay run out means finished or completed we cannot take these two words as different words in different meaning it is impossible it comes together and it will have a new meaning run out means completed finished over so this kinds of verbs can be called phrasal verb this kinds of verbs can be called phrasal verb phrasal verb means a combination of a verb and and a preposition here it comes a verb and a preposition can be called as phrasal verb verb you know run do come go walk eat run sleep dream a lot of verbs you know and preposition also you know prepositions you know like on it up off under behind beside a lot of preposition also you know so the combination of a verb and a preposition is called a phrasal verb not over one more important thing but the meaning of the verb and the preposition will be different when it joins so don't take run and out differently both has different meaning run means running out means outside but when it is used as a preposition it will have a new meaning a new meaning that is called huh, that is called what uh, sorry a uh, phrasal verb is it clear uh, when you take please take your textbook page number 18 phrasal verbs number 2 dictionary work let me read by the end of the journey we had run out of drinking water the same sentence look at the verb run out we already looked and it is a phrasal verb oh we know it has two parts that also we know a verb and a preposition a verb here it is a verb and it is the preposition both we know phrasal verb offer have meanings that are different from the meaning of their parts means when these verbs run and out when we are uh, seeing these two words differently it has different meaning but when we use it together it has another meaning so that is called a phrasal verb and you have an activity find the phrasal verbs in the story if you read the story you will get a number of phrasal verbs burn out do you remember when it comes light up 
look on, run out, keep out. So write down the sentences in which they occur. So consult a dictionary that you don't want to do. What you want to do is write a heading as a phrasal verb and you can find, uh, write this example and you can find which is the phrasal verb. And your activity also you want to do. Find the here, here in page number 18, when you're reading dictionary work, there is a, a an explanation a phrasal verb have two parts a verb and a preposition or an adverb maybe not only preposition maybe an adverb also and phrases uh, sorry phrasal verbs have meaning at are different from the meaning of the their part that you want to write you want to copy in your notebook and your activities also means finding the phrasal from the text and write the sentences that's all you want to do okay and here in page number 19 some activities are there that we have to do together when you comes back and page number 20 you can see a diary that you don't want to write because we have already planned to write a diary do you remember so that's enough that's all with the chapter the best christmas present in the world we have learned a story and we discussed some question answers that you want to write in your text sorry notebook and one poster in a4 and one diary in your notebook and two grammar things about past and earlier past and about phrasal verbs these are all the things we have learned from the chapter the best christmas present in the world so i hope it is clear whenever you feel a doubt you can contact me okay so before moving to the next uh, chapter actually the next uh, chapter is a, a poem when you uh, take a page number 21 you can see a poem with some beautiful pictures in it the ant and the cricket so before moving into the poem let me tell you one thing that see you as a child you are a student i know even though you may have some pocket money pocket money you may get from your grandparents from your, maybe from your parents from your relatives on special days special occasions you may get some pocket money with you imagine you get 500 rupees from one of your relative you get 500 rupees from one of your relative on a special day how many of you okay think and answer how many of you spend the whole 500 rupees soon and enjoy uh, the time okay who will be ready to spend the whole 500 rupees and enjoy your time and another time another question another option is how many of you will be ready to keep 250 rupees in your pocket and spend 250 and enjoy your life okay and there is a third option who will be ready to keep the whole 500 rupees in your pocket and will never spend even a few things even a few uh, paisa a few months so three options you have okay what are the options how many of you think of yourself close your eyes and think of yourself what character you have when you get a five when you get 500 rupees how many of you will be ready to spend the whole 500 rupees and enjoy that time and who will be ready to spend 250 only and to keep 250 in your pocket and the last option is who will be ready will be not ready to spend even one rupee from that but keep the whole 500 rupees as your savings think well and tell me which character you are spending money too much not at all spending money or spending and saving at the same time what kind of a person you are in this world these three types of people we can see isn't it just think about you think about your parents think about your friends what kind of a people they are just connect just try to recall all the incidents happen in your life and tell me when i call you in a google meet okay so let us discuss let us go to the next poem in the next class just eagerly wait for such a, a funny interesting nice poem it is just wait for that so wishing you all a nice day and try to write all the activities and send me through google classroom as soon as possible
So meet you in the next class. Wishing you a nice day. Thank you very much. And